Luigi's Mansion. What is there to say about it? A beloved spin-off series hailing from the Super Mario franchise following Mario's iconic brother Luigi as he storms mansions to exterminate ghosts. Hmm, sounds familiar. Well, what do I think of it? As it is the star focus of this video, uh, I think it's just okay. Now, the reason why I think this is because while its controls and gameplay are alright at most, it's not a masterpiece in comparison to prior Mario games such as Hotel Mario and Mario Teaches Typing. After all, why do you think Luigi isn't the starring role of any other Mario game because all the games that he does star in are either moderate incompetency or just blatant garbage, hence why Mario and Nintendo neglects him due to his embarrassingly genetically weak link brother. I will give credit where credit is due, however. This game is absolutely terrifying. Okay, okay, enough banter about Luigi and his games. Let's talk about the real reason why you viewers clicked on this video, Amiibo and the lack of support the Luigi's Mansion franchise is getting. Here on my new series, Amiibo List, we talk about the franchises and games that have barely had any amiibo support or none at all, and we brainstorm and conceptualize the potential these games have in terms of blessing them of these holy plastic toys. So let's get to it and talk about what we have to work with in terms of amiibo support for this beloved spooky game series. <laughs> Now today's episode of Amiibo List is Luigi's Mansion, of course, the long-running cult Mario-related series that spawned from the lame cube in 2001 and has continuously been adored by many fans of the ages, present and to come. But just because the Luigi's Mansion franchise is just okay, duh, doesn't mean that Amiibo can't make the game any more enjoyable and fun. Now in terms of Amiibo compatibility, there are only one to two Luigi's Mansion games with the Amiibo compatibility. The original Luigi's Mansion was released when Amiibo didn't even exist and the arcade game of Luigi's Mansion shouldn't even require Amiibo, regardless of how ironically cool that sounds. Since Amiibo support has been confirmed to not be made for Luigi's Mansion so far, and Luigi's Mansion 3 is just around the corner, possibilities for creating a good lineup of Amiibo and Amiibo support are soaring as of this video's upload. Who knows, we might even get the chance of being able to use Amiibo in the near future of Luigi's Mansion 3 with the help of updates, after all. Instead of thinking about existing Amiibo and their possible functions in the game, let's first start with the basic idea and concept of making OC Amiibo in the future. <coughs> Having Amiibo and brainstorming Amiibo ideas and concept is no easy feat, as it costs a whole load of money and funding, not to mention a fair and balanced load of content offered. However, lots of speculation ideas have been popping up over the years on the internet and its growing popularity as a source for idea spreading. After all, why are you watching this video here and now? To get my inputs and opinions on Amiibo. Either that or I'm just a content creator while you guys are the audience. I'm sitting here and sucking my life away at making video after video when I could instead be doing something entertaining like playing Dragon Ball fighters are vacuuming my house, which are also both soul-sucking wastes of time. Speaking of soul-sucking, one cool concept of an amiibo that I have that's related is to the Poltergust, that being a new amiibo variant pitch for the market that which being a Luigi amiibo with his iconic Poltergust. Some concept art could bring very good variety to the final product, having Luigi posing with his Poltergust in many ways. Maybe his Poltergust tube could be bendable just like the Breath of the Wild Guardian amiibo. He could even be shown where the ghosts are being sucked and some extra detail on the tip where ectoplasm's coming out in the ghost's residue. Oh, oh yeah, no homo. Speaking of the slime and Ectoplasm, one of the most hyped characters in the newest Luigi's Mansion games characters is called Guigi, the green doppelganger counterpart to Luigi who can basically do what Luigi can't. Oh, you mean to tell me that that Nickelodeon slime abomination thing can make a better main star in a game than OG Luigi? Well, I do think that the Guigi amiibo would actually look really awesome as a concept. He could have the cool goopy squishy texture like the Metroid did in the Metroid Samus Returns amiibo 2 pack. He could possess an entirely new pose from any other Luigi amiibo, or maybe even copying the pose from the Fire mentioned Luigi with Poltergust amiibo idea to match the characteristics of Guigi. Finally, an amiibo that I'm sure would be a fan favorite and a bestseller would be Luigi's mini companion Zero the Dog. The ghost dog's first appearance was in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on 3DS and has ever since become a beloved to many who've played a game since, so much so that it's probably one of the more requested amiibo demanded to be created. Conceptually, this amiibo could possess the cool glow-in-the-dark feature just like the already existing Boo amiibo. Before I get too carried away with crazy amiibo ideas for Luigi, Luigi's Mansion though, let me spit some sick decent ideas for marketing and functions of these amiibos. Uh oh, this is where it gets decisive. First off, a great bundle idea for these amiibo could be where they are included in a game or even a Switch bundle. The Poltergust Luigi could be bundled with a game and a special edition Switch, similar to the PS4 and all for a good enough price, and it would sell many copies and amiibo all at once. Now another idea that would potentially work is the Guigi amiibo being a store exclusive. That way the collectability of the amiibo will be very high up due to the texture and exclusivity. Thank <laughs> you.
a sole focus for a new amiibo, and arguably some people's influence to buying and determining a good amiibo purchase would be the functions in-game. Though my ideas of a good amiibo function can be quite greedy and sometimes questionable, I know what I'm talking about and you guys should just listen to me anyway. Depending on three amiibo concepts, the abilities in-game could be a choice between something as basic as secret treasures, game modes, and items. However, I'm thinking something more outside the box here. Something like the Poltergust Luigi amiibo can unlock a hidden move that can help him catch ghosts much easier. But it can't be too OP of course, though for a more redundant and marketing standpoint, OP unlock would arguably help boost sales of the amiibo. Now those were some of my most reasonable ideas for custom future amiibo and functions, but let's dumb it down a bit more. Not just to save my endurance from talking in this video, but to allow older amiibo a chance to shine again and become useful once more. Going back in time, there are only four compatible amiibo variants updated in work for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the new Nintendo 3DS variants, which were every Mario and Luigi variant, Toad, and lastly Boo. Effects in games range from things like the Luigi amiibos reviving you and having revealed speedy spirits behind the furniture, to niche things like having the map reveal three hidden Boos that have escaped using the Boo amiibo. Out of all of them, the Luigi combat ability is probably the most useful, in my humble opinion, with every other one not being really that worth it. Oh wait, this means Luigi actually shows some competency here, even though he's still the star of the game. Yeah, I guarantee most of the dislikes in this video will have come from my trash talking and verbal slaughtering of Luigi as a character. Now anyways, what could the game plan here be for Nintendo and Amiibo functions in Luigi's Mansion 3 and beyond? Well, let me begin with this. Maybe they could just do the exact same things as functions as they did in the previous game. Yep, they have good enough effects in my opinion, and despite me saying that they weren't worth it roughly 37 seconds ago, the buyers probably realized this after they bought the Amiibo and now they have them in their shelves already to be used again. It could be entirely possible that Luigi's Mansion might be drastically different in terms of power-ups and items for prior installments, so the Amiibo functions, if Nintendo decides to make them a compatible in the future after all, could possibly be very different. Maybe Nintendo could go extra lengths and reprint some of these past Amiibo again to make them available again. If you ask me, they should especially do this to the Boo Amiibo since that one's kind of expensive right now and I think it's a cool looking Amiibo all around. <laughs> Well, for all we know, the fate of Amiibo and compatibility of Amiibo with Luigi's Mansion 3 is entirely up in the air, and this video is entirely just ideas and speculation. The presence of Amiibo is a massive one, and one that can somehow make its way into any game with the right minds and help. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first installment pilot episode of Amiibo List and liked my ideas enough. If you have any ideas for the game and imaginative concepts to express, the comment section of this video is the perfect place to do it. Let me know what you guys think and hope for and whatever, and what you guys liked about this video, and what made you guys guys cringe throughout this video, and no I'm not saying that as a part of my self esteem shield. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.